happy International Youth Day. For this year's International Youth Day, the focus is on how to leverage the full potential of our generations by collaborating to foster successful and equitable intergenerational relations and partnerships to ensure that no one is left behind. The main obstacle to the inclusive society that we want to build is ageism. So what is ageism? Ageism refers to how we think, stereotypes, feel, prejudice, and act discrimination towards others or ourselves based on age. In short, it includes all age-related barriers. Ageism affects us all. The same issues are faced on both ends of the age spectrum. It can be self-directed, interpersonal, or institutional. It prevents us from thinking and designing policies and social services that are fair for all ages. Today, people in Africa continue to face age-related barriers in various spheres of their lives, such as employment, political participation, health, and justice. On an individual level, these age-related obstacles can deeply impact well-being and livelihoods, not only during the youth years, but also in adulthood. Here are some facts for you. With more than 250 million people aged between 15 and 24, Africa has the youngest population in the world. The current trend indicates that this figure will double by 2050, according to the United Nations statistics. And about 10 million to 12 million young people join the labor market each year, representing 1 million new jobs to be created every month. Africa has one of the highest youth unemployment rates in the world, with 28% of young people without work in 2020. Of Africa's unemployed, 60% are young people, and youth unemployment rates double those of adult unemployment rates in most African countries. Report shows that people who have less contact with other age groups are more likely to be ageist, and ageism intersects with other forms of bias. So we need to tackle this as much as the others. So how do we change the way we think, feel, and act towards age and aging? How do we promote social connectedness and intergenerational interventions? Let me welcome my sister to help me uh, formulate elements of answers, Novella Nikwigizé. She's currently the Program Specialist for Women's Security, Peace and Humanitarian Actions for UN Women in Central African Republic. She has also worked in the media, being a news anchor and hosting a TV show on Rwanda National TV called Image de l'Afrique, available on YouTube too, uh, link below. Um, discussing with key experts and high-level guests on issues pertaining to the African development. Welcome to Villa. So, could you give us examples of ageism in the African community? Thanks a lot, uh, Anderson, and uh, thank you for having me. I think it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting question and one that I believe uh, is very relevant. Um, as, as much as we're talking about youth involvement, um, there are some, you know, uh, preliminary considerations. So, what are examples of ageism in the African community? I think um, ageism, uh, uh, in very blandly and, and at macro level, can be seen in the rates of unemployment um, and the range of those that are unemployed in African countries. Um, why? Because uh, we are going to see that um, uh, there are some traditional stigmas um, that young people cannot necessarily contribute, that they have less experience. And so if you have uh, a young person and a, a more mature person um, that you want to engage uh, or uh, that you want to, to hire, chances are that you're going to take the older person uh, because, you know, you supposedly have more experience. Um, ageism can also be seen in the lack of, of involvement of youth in politics and in leadership roles. Um, so 
We know that more and more, obviously, um, we're trying to consult uh, the youth in policy formulation and societal reforms, but still, uh, there has been uh, a trend uh, um, that young people are considered less experienced and they have uh, less to contribute to, which is which is very unfortunate. Uh, and if a and even a simple case of ageism is reflected even in the family structures, um, in African families. Um, because we know that decisions uh, concerning the family and individuals are, are made a lot uh, or mostly uh, by the parents, uh, by the elders. Um, and, and young people uh, are, are less consulted um, and their input is less um, um, uh, less significant. So all of these different situations um, are clear examples of ageism uh, in African societies. So then how can we truly address that and build that all-inclusive society? So how, how to address that basically? Um, I, I believe and uh, um, I'll be uh, 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 quoting or aligning with um, uh, my father um, who's, who's, who's really uh, trying to, 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 to think and to engage uh, in this conversation. Uh, I think African youth can be a huge asset um, and an opportunity to mobilize uh, this reservoir of human capacity towards the economic revival of the continent. Um, intergenerational solidarity or communication dialogue uh, could also contribute to that. Uh, and particularly just integrating uh, the needs of young people or youth's needs um, um, and their right to choose their voice in the new agenda as, as we go towards, you know, building back better uh, after the pandemic and, and really sustainable development. Uh, I think those are elements uh, that can uh, be catalyzers for global peace and prosperity. Um, it's also essential that young people receive from their adult generations uh, the relevant skills, uh, the experience, the, the, knowledge, the knowledge, the wisdom, as we call it, uh, but also quality education, um, um, lifelong learning, uh, from early childhood to, to tertiary schooling, uh, um, um, education or learning and earning opportunities, uh, but also uh, more civic education um, for peace, for human rights, uh, uh, the respect for diversity and social justice. Because if we're not preparing the youth to make a, a, a significant contribution um, to our development going forward, we'll still be having the same uh, issues that we're perpetuating uh, and that we're carrying along um, as we try to, to change um, our um, development uh, or the, the, the development path of the continent. Do you have any examples of you young people who led big movements and initiated reforms or revolutions? A very good question. Well, examples of uh, um, young youth-led movements basically uh, on the continent. Um, and without going too much into the past where we know that um, uh, colonial times uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, the, the independence uh, battles were fought mainly by youngsters. Those were uh, uh, considered youth at that time. Um, but even after, as after the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, we've witnessed uh, the power of an involved youth, whether in matters of uh, social justice, so social injustices, uh, community building actions, acts of compassion. We've seen uh, what it's what is possible to achieve when the youth is is engaged, involved, but also is leading for once. Um, historically, too, a lot of young African personalities uh, have really stood out. I would like to take, for instance, um, William Kamwamba, who is a 13-year-old boy from Malawi. Um, in 2001, when the Kasungu region uh, where he lived suffered terrible drought, uh, driven by desperation, search in books for a solution. Uh, he used a garbage dump, uh, a tractor fan, a bicycle frame, uh, a shock absor absorber and a PVC uh, pipe, and he, he basically built a windmill. Um, 
that generated enough energy to pump water from the ground. So basically, instead of accepting just, you know, the cultural, the social, the economic, uh, the poverty context um, uh, and the, um, the limited resources that he was facing, he, he, he thought about, you know, innovative solutions and, and did not use his age as an obstacle. I think it's also uh, uh, an example, a clear example of, of the potential, very great potential that young people have. Uh, creativity, innovation, creating new things, basically. Um, so I think that, that energy and that creativity of, of young Africans should be really harvested, should be, should be used, uh, 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 explored a little bit deeper uh, if we want to really go about um, the development of our continent. Are we creating today the leaders of tomorrow? Um, well, good, good question. Um, are we creating today the leaders of tomorrow? Um, I think yes and no. Um, our education um, uh, traditionally is based on principles and values, uh, on um, what we believe as African communities. And, and, and I know Africa is wide and, and we have different cultures, but I feel that there is a, a, a common ground in a way. Um, so our education, traditional education, is really based on that, uh, the values, uh, values of community, values of, you know, loving one another, etc. Um, so I think in that sense, our traditional education is very, very rich uh, and does have a lot of, um, 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 a lot of uh, richness that we're not necessarily exploiting uh, or using. Um, or leveraging. Uh, but at the same time, um, today's young people's education is uh, uh, coming from different sources. Um, from We live in a global world and so our young people in Africa have access to whatever is happening in Asia, in, in Europe, in the US, which is a, a good thing. But sometimes I, I believe that uh, our traditional um, anchoring uh, in the values and principles can sometimes be altered in a way. And so while we are creating um, uh, young Africans that can, you know, um, um, thrive uh, in the world, we also need young Africans that can be rooted in the continent and its values and principles. Um, that way we know that we're creating not only just the leaders of tomorrow, but the African leaders of tomorrow people that will be exerting the values of the continent uh, and, and, you know, portraying it as positive as it is um, so that we do maintain and, and, and strengthen also our, our own, um, uh, our own um, not only position, but our own way of being uh, and own values and, and principles and traditions, positive ones, um, uh, and potentially, you know, uh, give it to the world. Um, share it with the world. Uh, that way, I think we'll be able to to foster uh, um, uh, African leadership uh, for tomorrow. Uh, and for that, obviously, I think we need to, to to strengthen the dialogue between not only between parents and kids at micro level, at family level, but also between the different generations. Um, and unfortunately, as of late, um, uh, many of the dialogue between um, uh, young people and their leaders are usually in the form of confrontation. Um, um, youth movements, et cetera, et cetera, saying that they don't want uh, what's happening in Africa, which is good because they're you know, taking um, uh, a role, an active role in uh, the, the future of their country. But, but we should make sure that the dialogue is not only, is not only confrontational, but really fosters positive ideas from both sides uh, and recognizes um, the contribution of each um, component of the society. And again, uh, uh, young people, um, uh, youth is a transitional period. And so we also have to think about, you know, making sure that this transition goes well. Uh, uh, so this period, which is short, 
uh, can 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 be you know uh, uh, rich that, that young people can can absorb can can you know uh, learn can 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 get information and then you know contribute better uh, afterwards. So I think uh, yes, we are trying. Um, there are a lot of uh, um, uh, resources that we need to leverage, but we need to try more uh, and to try stronger, create um, the bridges between the different uh, uh, generations. Uh, and make sure that we are not uh, putting um, uh, any prejudices or uh, preconception towards the other uh, uh, generation uh, and make it limit our discussions uh, of creating walls. So let's basically create bridges uh, and break walls. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, so what can we conclude from all of this? leave no one behind without clear guidance and involvement in decision making processes the elders are leaving a huge potential unexploited the message to african policymakers and leaders for this international youth day 2022 would be dear adult leaders don't just promise development deliver it now with our full participation as beneficiaries and actors we are hungry for actions. But that was our message for today, but it's not over yet. I have two exclusive songs for the International Youth Day with a message similar to what you just heard. One is in French and the other is in English. So sit back and enjoy. And thank you very much for your time and engagement. Happy International Youth Day. Oui, je suis jeune, oui, je n'ai pas d'expérience Je ne pique pas vos préférences, que tu lis sur la feuille Ne reflète pas mes connaissances, entre clore mes CV, y'a différence Donne-moi une seule chance, tu verras que je suis capable Ce n'est pas une question d'âge, fais de moi confiance Tu verras que je te déçois pas, je ferai preuve de bon sens Je miser sur notre ambition, vous la minimisez Comme si les enjeux, on les ignore Y'a pas de profit dans notre exclusion, oui, vous nous précédez Mais c'est nous les leaders de demain Créant des générations, pas de solidarité Chacun veut prendre son chemin Si chacun fait ce qu'il veut, n'y aura jamais de de progrès, on n'accumulera pas de terrain. Why does it feel like we are islands in a space of time? Why does it seem like no one minds us? We just set aside. When we get treated with the silence, we get even louder. We were born into that silence, never meant to hide. Why does it feel like we are islands in a space of time? Why does it seem like no one minds us? We just set aside. When we get treated with a silence, we'll get even louder, louder. Jeune téméraire, on peut le faire On peut rectifier toutes leurs erreurs Plus besoin de guerre, on en plein on erre On se bat avec des chiffres et des lettres La meilleure manière c'est pas d'attendre qu'on nous donne le siège Mais c'est de s'inviter nous-mêmes Le moment c'est maintenant, faut agir, engager les réformes Et pas attendre quand tout baigne On parle des ans, je ne suis pas la raison Tout reste dans les pensées mais rien ne se présente Qui va l'enclencher si tout le monde se questionne Rien ne va changer si personne ne raisonne Laisse de la paresse ou la peur de l'échec Tu ne pourras pas gagner si jamais tu n'essaies Rien ne sont pas assez si ils ne t'impressionnent si t'es assis, ne te plains pas du désordre Why does it feel like we are islands in a space of time? Why does it seem like no one minds us we just set aside? When we get treated with the silence, we get even louder We were born into that silence, never meant to hide Why does it feel like we are islands in a space of time? Why does it seem like no one minds us we just set aside? When we get treated with a silence, we'll get even louder We were born into that silence, never meant to hide, you know Ever meant to hide, ever meant to hide, ever meant to hide, ever meant to shine, ever meant to ride, ever meant to shine, ever meant to hide, ever meant to hide, ever meant to hide, ever meant to shine, ever meant to shine, ever meant to shine, ever meant to shine, ever meant to shine. Call me a young 
youngster Treat me like a monster They don't know how to harvest Power from the sunshine Use me for the fun stuff Wasting all my gunshots They don't know that we could be Some freaky rocket launchers Winning is a mantra Repeat it to the young chap Give him the responsibilities And see them conquer Intergenerational meetings For needed contact Nothing than the youngest Come together blending content Cause you're just a number And there's no wrong one You could be retiring I'll be wiser than a young buck No matter the way that the fighter Makes you the warrior You could be smaller inside But stronger than a gorilla Yeah, be the front runner Till it's all done It's not how you start But how you end up Like with wonder Like at least from your gun Show them you gotta stop me now Go on and ride that stallion Get ready, better set up I got young energy, yeah But my mind's like coaches, yeah I got roots like the trees, yeah But I'm going to distance I got young energy, yeah But my mind's like coaches, yeah I got roots like the trees, yeah I'm going the distance I got your energy, yeah But my mind's like coaches, yeah I got roots like the trees, yeah But I'm going the distance I got your energy, yeah But my mind's like coaches, yeah I got roots like the trees, yeah But I'm going the distance